The Slavic languages also called Slavonic languages are the Indo-European languages spoken by the Slavic peoples. They are thought to descend from a proto-language called Proto-Slavic spoken during the early Middle Ages, which in turn is thought to have descended from the earlier Proto-Balto-Slavic language, linking the Slavic languages to the Baltic languages in a Balto-Slavic group within the Indo-European family. The Slavic languages are divided into three subgroups, East, West, and South, which together constitute more than 20 languages. Of these, ten have at least one million speakers and official status as the national languages of the countries in which they are predominantly spoken, Russian, Belarusian and Ukrainian of the East group, Polish, Czech and Slovak of the West group and Slovene, Serbo-Croatian, Macedonian and Bulgarian of the South group. The current geographic distribution of natively spoken Slavic languages covers Eastern Europe, the Balkans, Central Europe and all of the territory of Russia, which includes Northern and North Central Asia. Furthermore, the diasporas of many Slavic peoples have established isolated minorities of speakers of their languages all over the world. The number of speakers of all Slavic languages together is estimated to be 315 million. Despite the large extent, the individual Slavic languages are considerably less differentiated than Germanic and Romance languages. Branches <inaudible> 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 Topic. Scholars traditionally divide Slavic languages on the basis of geographical and genealogical principle into three main branches, some of which feature subbranches East Slavic Belarusian Russian Ukrainian Russian West Slavic Czech Slovak Czech Slovak Lekhytic Polish, Silesian Pomeranian Kashubian Sorbian Upper Sorbian Lower Sorbian South Slavic Eastern Bulgarian Macedonian Church Slavonic Western Serbo-Croatian Serbian Croatian Bosnian Montenegrin Bergenland Croatian Slovene Some linguists speculate that a North Slavic branch has existed as well. The Old Novgorod dialect may have reflected some idiosyncrasies of this group. Mutual intelligibility also plays a role in determining the West, East, and South branches. Speakers of languages within the same branch will in most cases be able to understand each other at least partially, but they are generally unable to across branches for which it would be comparable to a native English speaker trying to understand any other Germanic language. The most obvious differences between the East, West and South Slavic branches are in the orthography of the standard languages, West Slavic languages and Western South Slavic languages, Croatian and Slovene are written in the Latin script, and have had more Western European influence due to their proximity and speakers being historically Roman Catholic, whereas the East Slavic and Eastern South Slavic languages are written in Cyrillic and, with Eastern Orthodox or Uniate faith, have had more Greek influence. East Slavic languages such as Russian have, however, during and after Peter the Great's Europeanization campaign, absorbed many words of Latin, French, German, and Italian origin. The tripartite division of the Slavic languages does not take into account the spoken dialects of each language. Of these, certain so-called transitional dialects and hybrid dialects often bridge the gaps between different languages, showing similarities that do not stand out when comparing Slavic literary .e. standard languages. For example, Slovak West Slavic and Ukrainian East Slavic are bridged by the Russian language dialect of Eastern Slovakia and Western Ukraine. Similarly, the Croatian Kajkavian dialect is more similar to Slovene than to the standard Croatian language. Although the Slavic languages diverged from a common proto language later than any other group of the Indo European language family, enough differences exist between the various Slavic dialects and languages to make communication between speakers of different Slavic languages difficult. Within the individual Slavic languages, dialects may vary to a lesser degree, as those of Russian, or to a much greater degree, as those of Slovene. History Topic. Topic. Common roots and ancestry Topic. 
Slavic languages descend from Proto Slavic, their immediate parent language, ultimately deriving from Proto Indo European, the ancestor language of all Indo European languages, via a Proto Balto Slavic stage. During the Proto Balto Slavic period, a number of exclusive isoglosses in phonology, morphology, lexis, and syntax developed, which makes Slavic and Baltic the closest related of all the Indo European branches. The secession of the Balto Slavic dialect ancestral to Proto Slavic is estimated on archaeological and glottochronological criteria to have occurred sometime in the period 1500 to 1000 BCE. A minority of Baltists maintain the view that the Slavic group of languages differs so radically from the neighboring Baltic group Lithuanian, Latvian, and the now extinct Old Prussian that they could not have shared a parent language after the breakup of the Proto Indo European continuum about five millennia ago. Substantial advances in Balto-Slavic accentology that occurred in the last three decades, however, make this view very hard to maintain nowadays, especially when one considers that there was most likely no «Proto-Baltic» language and that West Baltic and East Baltic differ from each other as much as each of them does from Proto-Slavic. Evolution <inaudible> 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 The imposition of Church Slavonic on Orthodox Slavs was often at the expense of the vernacular. Says W. B. Lockwood, a prominent Indo-European linguist, it OCS remained in use to modern times but was more and more influenced by the living, evolving languages, so that one distinguishes Bulgarian, Serbian, and Russian varieties. The use of such media hampered the development of the local languages for literary purposes, and when they do appear the first attempts are usually in an artificially mixed style." 148 Lockwood also notes that these languages have «enriched» themselves by drawing on Church Slavonic for the vocabulary of abstract concepts. The situation in the Catholic countries, where Latin was more important, was different. The Polish Renaissance poet Jan Kahanowski and the Croatian Baroque writers of the 16th century all wrote in their respective vernaculars though Polish itself had drawn amply on Latin in the same way Russian would eventually draw on Church Slavonic. Although Church Slavonic hampered vernacular literatures, it fostered Slavonic literary activity and abetted linguistic independence from external influences. Only the Croatian vernacular literary tradition nearly matches Church Slavonic in age. It began with the Vinodal Codex and continued through the Renaissance until the codifications of Croatian in 1830, though much of the literature between 1300 and 1500 was written in much the same mixture of the vernacular and Church Slavonic as prevailed in Russia and elsewhere. The most important early monument of Croatian literacy is the Baska tablet from the late 11th century. It is a large stone tablet found in the small church of St. Lucy, Jaranvor on the Croatian island of Krk, containing text written mostly in Kakavian dialect in angular Croatian glagolitic script. The independence of Dubrovnik facilitated the continuity of the tradition. More recent foreign influences follow the same general pattern in Slavic languages as elsewhere and are governed by the political relationships of the Slavs. In the 17th century, bourgeois Russian absorbed German words through direct contacts between Russians and communities of German settlers in Russia. In the era of Peter the Great, close contacts with France invited countless loan words and calques from French, a significant fraction of which not only survived but also replaced older Slavonic loans. In the 19th century, Russian influenced most literary Slavic languages by one means or another. Topic. Differentiation Topic. The Proto-Slavic language existed until around AD 500. By the 7th century, it had broken apart into large dialectal zones. There are no reliable hypotheses about the nature of the subsequent breakups of West and South Slavic. East Slavic is generally thought to converge to one Old Russian or Old East Slavonic language, which existed until at least the 12th century. Linguistic differentiation was accelerated by the dispersion of the Slavic peoples over a large territory, which in Central Europe exceeded the current extent of Slavic-speaking majorities. Written documents of the 9th, 10th, and 11th centuries already display some local linguistic features. For example, the phrasing manuscripts show a language that contains some phonetic and lexical elements peculiar to Slovene dialects e.g. roticism, the word krilitek. 
The phrasing manuscripts are the first Latin script continuous text in a Slavic language. The migration of Slavic speakers into the Balkans in the declining centuries of the Byzantine Empire expanded the area of Slavic speech, but the pre-existing writing notably Greek survived in this area. The arrival of the Hungarians in Pannonia in the 9th century interposed non-Slavic speakers between South and West Slavs. Frankish conquests completed the geographical separation between these two groups, also severing the connection between Slavs in Moravia and Lower Austria Moravians and those in present-day Styria, Carinthia, East Tyrol in Austria, and in the provinces of modern Slovenia, where the ancestors of the Slovenes settled during first colonization. <laughs> <laughs> Linguistic history the following is a summary of the main changes from Proto-Indo-European leading up to the Common Slavic CS period immediately following the Proto-Slavic language PS. Satim sound changes Pi asterisk K, asterisk G, asterisk asterisk S, asterisk Z, asterisk CS asterisk S, asterisk Z, asterisk Z Pi asterisk K, asterisk G, asterisk G, asterisk K, asterisk G, asterisk G Rookie rule, following asterisk r, asterisk u, asterisk k or asterisk i, pi asterisk s asterisk s, c s asterisk x Loss of voiced aspirates, pi asterisk b, asterisk d, asterisk g asterisk b, asterisk d, asterisk g Merger of asterisk o and asterisk a, pi asterisk a, asterisk o, asterisk a, asterisk o p s asterisk a, asterisk a, c s asterisk o, asterisk a Law of open syllables, all closed syllables syllables ending in a consonant are eventually eliminated, in the following stages Nasalization, with asterisk n indicating either asterisk n or asterisk m not immediately followed by a vowel, pi asterisk n, asterisk n, asterisk in, asterisk on, asterisk un asterisk a, asterisk e, asterisk i, asterisk o, asterisk u, c s asterisk o, asterisk e, asterisk e, asterisk o, asterisk y, note, asterisk a asterisk e etc. indicates a nasalized vowel, in a cluster of obstruent stop or fricative plus another consonant, the obstruent is deleted unless the cluster can occur word initially. Occurs later, see below monophthongization of diphthongs. Occurs much later, see below elimination of liquid diphthongs e.g. asterisk er, asterisk ol when not followed immediately by a vowel. First palatalization, asterisk k, asterisk g, asterisk x c s asterisk c, asterisk z, asterisk s pronounced respectively before a front vocalic sound asterisk e asterisk e asterisk i asterisk i asterisk j iotation consonants are palatalized by an immediately following asterisk j asterisk sj asterisk zjcs asterisk s asterisk z asterisk nj asterisk lj asterisk rjcs asterisk n asterisk l asterisk r pronounced nlr or similar Asterisk TJ, asterisk DJ CS asterisk T, asterisk D probably palatal stops, e.g. C, but developing in different ways depending on the language. Asterisk BJ, asterisk PJ, asterisk MJ, asterisk WJ asterisk BL, asterisk place, asterisk ML, asterisk well the lateral consonant asterisk L is mostly lost later on in West Slavic. Vowel fronting, after asterisk j or some other palatal sound, back vowels are fronted asterisk a, asterisk a, asterisk u, asterisk u, asterisk i, asterisk o, asterisk e, asterisk e, asterisk i, asterisk i, asterisk a, asterisk e u. This leads to hard, soft alternations in noun and adjective declensions. Prothesis, before a word initial vowel, asterisk j or asterisk w is usually inserted. Monophthongization, asterisk i, asterisk o, asterisk a, asterisk e u, asterisk u, asterisk e, asterisk u, asterisk i, asterisk ju, asterisk y. Second palatalization, asterisk k, asterisk g, asterisk x c s asterisk c, t s, asterisk d z, asterisk s before new asterisk e from earlier asterisk i. Asterisk s later splits into asterisk s west Slavic, asterisk s east, south Slavic. Progressive palatalization or third palatalization 
Asterisk K, Asterisk G, Asterisk X C S Asterisk C, Asterisk D Z, Asterisk S after Asterisk I, Asterisk I in certain circumstances. Vowel quality shifts, all pairs of long, short vowels become differentiated as well by vowel quality. Asterisk A, Asterisk A C S Asterisk O, Asterisk A Asterisk E, Asterisk E C S Asterisk E, Asterisk E originally a low front sound A but eventually raised to I E in most dialects, developing in divergent ways. Asterisk I, Asterisk U C S Asterisk, Asterisk, also written Asterisk I, Asterisk U, lacks vowels as in the English words pit, put. Asterisk I, Asterisk U, Asterisk Y C S Asterisk I, Asterisk U, Asterisk Y. Elimination of liquid diphthongs, liquid diphthongs sequences of vowel plus asterisk L or asterisk R, when not immediately followed by a vowel are changed so that the syllable becomes open. Asterisk or, asterisk OL, asterisk er, asterisk L, asterisk RO, asterisk LO, asterisk RE, asterisk LA in West Slavic. Asterisk or, asterisk OL, asterisk er, asterisk L, asterisk oro, asterisk OLO, asterisk er, asterisk OLO in East Slavic. Asterisk or, asterisk OL, asterisk er, asterisk L, asterisk ra, asterisk la, asterisk re, asterisk la in South Slavic. Possibly, asterisk er, asterisk ul, asterisk ir, asterisk il syllabic asterisk r, asterisk l, asterisk r, asterisk l, then develops in divergent ways. Development of phonemic tone and vowel length independent of vowel quality, complex developments see history of accentual developments in Slavic languages. Features the Slavic languages are a relatively homogeneous family, compared with other families of Indo-European languages e.g. Germanic, Romance, and Indo-Iranian. As late as the 10th century AD, the entire Slavic-speaking area still functioned as a single, dialectally differentiated language, termed Common Slavic. Compared with most other Indo-European languages, the Slavic languages are quite conservative, particularly in terms of morphology the means of inflecting nouns and verbs to indicate grammatical differences. Most Slavic languages have a rich, fusional morphology that conserves much of the inflectional morphology of Proto-Indo-European. Consonants <coughs> 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 The following table shows the inventory of consonants of late common Slavic. 1 The sound s did not occur in West Slavic, where it had developed to. This inventory of sounds is quite similar to what is found in most modern Slavic languages. The extensive series of palatal consonants, along with the affricates asterisk ts and asterisk dz, developed through a series of palatalizations that happened during the Proto-Slavic period, from earlier sequences either of velar consonants followed by front vowels e.g. asterisk k, asterisk ki, asterisk ge, asterisk gi, asterisk z, and asterisk she, or of various consonants followed by asterisk j e.g. asterisk tj, asterisk dj, asterisk sj, asterisk zj, asterisk Asterisk RJ, asterisk LJ, asterisk KJ, and asterisk GJ, where asterisk J is the palatal approximant J, the sound of the English letter Y in yes or U. The biggest change in this inventory results from a further general palatalization occurring near the end of the common Slavic period, where all consonants became palatalized before front vowels. This produced a large number of new palatalized or soft. Sounds, which formed pairs with the corresponding non-palatalized or hard consonants and absorbed the existing palatalized sounds asterisk l asterisk r asterisk n asterisk s. These sounds were best preserved in Russian but were lost to varying degrees in other languages, particularly Czech and Slovak. The following table shows the inventory of modern Russian. This general process of palatalization did not occur in Serbo-Croatian and Slovenian. As a result, the modern consonant inventory of these languages is nearly identical to the late common Slavic inventory. Late common Slavic tolerated relatively few consonant clusters. However, as a result of the loss of certain formerly present vowels the, weak years, the modern Slavic languages allow quite complex clusters, as in the Russian word vzblesk flash. 
Also present in many Slavic languages are clusters rarely found cross-linguistically, as in Russian Erdut RTUT, Mercury, or Polish MCHU MXU, Moss, Gen SG. The word for Mercury with the initial RT cluster, for example, is also found in the other East and West Slavic languages, although Slovak retains an epithetic vowel ordit. Topic: Vowels. Topic: A typical vowel inventory is as follows. The sound occurs only in some languages Russian and Belarusian, and even in these languages, it is unclear whether it is its own phoneme or an allophone of I. Nonetheless, it is a quite prominent and noticeable characteristic of the languages in which it is present. Russian Ms. M and Polish Mysz M. Mouse. Common Slavic also had two nasal vowels, asterisk E, e and asterisk o, o. However, these are preserved only in modern Polish along with a few lesser-known dialects and microlanguages, see us for more details. Polish was, v, and wies, v, snake, snakes. Other phonemic vowels are found in certain languages e.g. the schwa, in Bulgarian and Slovenian, distinct high-mid and low-mid vowels in Slovenian, and the lax front vowel, in Ukrainian. Topic. Length, accent, and tone. Topic. An area of great difference among Slavic languages is that of prosody i.e. syllabic distinctions such as vowel length, accent, and tone. Common Slavic had a complex system of prosody, inherited with little change from Proto-Indo-European. This consisted of phonemic vowel length and a free, mobile pitch accent. All vowels could occur either short or long, and this was phonemic it could not automatically be predicted from other properties of the word. There was at most a single accented syllable per word, distinguished by higher pitch as in modern Japanese rather than greater dynamic stress as in English. Vowels in accented syllables could be pronounced with either a rising or falling tone i.e. there was pitch accent, and this was phonemic. The accent was free in that it could occur on any syllable and was phonemic. The accent was mobile in that its position could potentially vary among closely related words within a single paradigm e.g. the accent might land on a different syllable between the nominative and genitive singular of a given word. Even within a given inflectional class e.g. masculine I stem nouns, there were multiple accent patterns in which a given word could be inflected. For example, most nouns in a particular inflectional class could follow one of three possible patterns, either there was consistent accent on the root pattern A, predominant accent on the ending pattern B, or accent that moved between root and ending pattern C. In patterns B and C, the accent in different parts of the paradigm shifted not only in location but also type rising versus falling. Each inflectional class had its own version of patterns B and C, which might differ significantly from one inflectional class to another. The modern languages vary greatly in the extent to which they preserve this system. On one extreme, Serbo Croatian preserves the system nearly unchanged, even more so in the conservative Chakavian dialect. On the other, Macedonian has basically lost the system in its entirety. Between them are found numerous variations. Slovenian preserves most of the system but has shortened all unaccented syllables and lengthened non-final accented syllables so that vowel length and accent position largely co-occur. Russian and Bulgarian have eliminated distinctive vowel length and tone and converted the accent into a stress accent as in English but preserved its position. As a result, the complexity of the mobile accent and the multiple accent pattern still exists particularly in Russian because it has preserved the common Slavic noun inflections, while Bulgarian has lost them. Czech and Slovak have preserved phonemic vowel length and converted the distinctive tone of accented syllables into length distinctions. Phonemic accent is otherwise lost, but the former accent patterns are echoed to some extent in corresponding patterns of vowel length, shortness in the root. Paradigms with mobile vowel length, shortness do exist but only in a limited fashion, usually only with the zero ending forms nom, sg, acc, sg, and or gen. Place, depending on inflectional class having a different length from the other forms, Czech has a couple of other mobile patterns, but they are rare and can usually be substituted with one of the normal mobile patterns or a non-mobile pattern. Old Polish had a system very much like Czech. 
Modern Polish has lost vowel length, but some former short long pairs have become distinguished by quality e.g. oo greater than ou, with the result that some words have vowel quality changes that exactly mirror the mobile length patterns in Czech and Slovak. Topic: <laughs> Grammar. Topic: Similarly, Slavic languages have extensive morphophonemic alternations in their derivational and inflectional morphology, including between velar and postalveolar consonants, front and back vowels, and between a vowel and no vowel. Topic: <laughs> Selected cognates. Topic: the following is a very brief selection of cognates in basic vocabulary across the Slavic language family, which may serve to give an idea of the sound changes involved. This is not a list of translations. Cognates have a common origin, but their meaning may be shifted and loanwords may have replaced them. Topic: <laughs> Influence on neighboring languages. Topic: most languages of the former Soviet Union and of some neighboring countries for example, Mongolian are significantly influenced by Russian, especially in vocabulary. The Romanian, Albanian, and Hungarian languages show the influence of the neighboring Slavic nations, especially in vocabulary pertaining to urban life, agriculture, and crafts and trade—the major cultural innovations at times of limited long-range cultural contact. In each one of these languages, Slavic lexical borrowings represent at least 20% of the total vocabulary. However, Romanian has much lower influence from Slavic than Albanian or Hungarian. This is because Slavic tribes crossed and partially settled the territories inhabited by ancient Illyrians and Vlachs on their way to the Balkans. Although also spoken in neighboring lands, the Germanic languages show less significant Slavic influence, partly because Slavic migrations were mostly headed south rather than west. Slavic tribes did push westwards into Germanic territory, but borrowing for the most part seems to have been from Germanic to Slavic rather than the other way. For instance, the now extinct Polabian language was heavily influenced by German, far more than any living Slavic language today. The Slavic contributions to Germanic languages remains a moot question, though Max Vassimer, a specialist in Slavic etymology, has claimed that there were no Slavic loans into Proto-Germanic. The only Germanic languages that show significant Slavic influence are Yiddish and the historical colonial dialects of German that were spoken east of the oder neisse line, such as Silesian German formerly spoken in Silesia and south of East Prussia and the eastern varieties of East Low German, with the exception of Low Prussian, which had a strong Baltic substratum. Modern Dutch slang, especially the Amsterdam dialect, borrowed much from Yiddish in turn. However, there are isolated Slavic loans mostly recent into other Germanic languages. For example, the word for border in modern German Grenz, Dutch Grenz was borrowed from the common Slavic Granica. There are, however, many cities and villages of Slavic origin in eastern Germany, the largest of which are Berlin, Leipzig and Dresden. English derives quark, a kind of cheese, not the subatomic particle from the German quark, which in turn is derived from the Slavic Tvarog, which means Curd. Many German surnames, particularly in eastern Germany and Austria, are Slavic in origin. Swedish also has torg marketplace from Old Russian t, rg, or Polish targ, tolk interpreter from Old Slavic toluku, and pram barge from West Slavonic pramu. The Czech word robot is now found in most languages worldwide, and the word pistol, probably also from Czech, is found in many Indo-European languages, including Greek, pistoli pistoli. A well-known Slavic word in almost all European languages is vodka, a borrowing from Russian vodka, vodka which itself was borrowed from Polish vodka lit. Little water, from common Slavic voda, water, cognate to the English word with the diminutive ending, ka. Owing to the medieval fur trade with northern Russia, pan-European loans from Russian include such familiar words as sable. The English word, vampire was borrowed perhaps via French vampire from German vampir, in turn derived from Serbian vampir, continuing Proto-Slavic asterisk oper, although Polish scholar K. Stachowski has argued that the origin of the word is early Slavic asterisk vapor, going back to Turkic ubir. Several European languages, including English, have borrowed the word polj meaning large, flat plain, directly from the former Yugoslav languages i.e. Slovene, Croatian, and Serbian. 
During the heyday of the USSR in the 20th century, many more Russian words became known worldwide – da, Soviet, Sputnik, Perestroika, Glasnost, Kolkhoz, etc. Also in the English language borrowed from Russian is samovar lit. self-boiling, to refer to the specific Russian tea urn. Topic. Detailed list Topic. The following tree for the Slavic languages derives from the Ethnologue report for Slavic languages. It includes the ISO 639-1 and ISO 639-3 codes where available. East Slavic languages Ruthenian section Belarusian, ISO 639-1 code, B, ISO 639-3 code, Bel Ukrainian, ISO 639-1 code, UK, ISO 639-3 code, UKR Russian, a language or a dialect of Ukrainian, ISO 639-3 code, RU Russian, ISO 639-1 code, RU, ISO 639-3 code, Rus West Slavic languages Sorbian section also known as Wendish, ISO 639-3 code, WEN Lower Sorbian also known as Lusatian, ISO 639-3 code, DSB Upper Sorbian, ISO 639-3 code, HSB Lekytic section Polish, ISO 639-1 code, place, ISO 639-3 code, Pol Silesian see footnote above, ISO 639-3 code, SZL Pomeranian Kashubian, ISO 639-2 code, CSB Slovenian, a language or a dialect of Kashubian — extinct Polabian Extinct, ISO 639-3 code, POX Czech Slovak section Czech, ISO 639-1 code, CS, ISO 639-3 CES Nonich or Judeo-Slavic — Extinct, ISO 639-3 code, CZK Slovak, ISO 639-1 code, SK, ISO 639-3 code, Sulk South Slavic languages Western section Serbo-Croatian Bosnian, ISO 639-1 code, BS, ISO 639-3 code, BOS Croatian, ISO 639-1 code, OUR, ISO 639-3 code, HRV Serbian, ISO 639-1 code, Senior, ISO 639-3 code, SERP Montenegrin not regulated but official in Montenegro Slovene, ISO 639-1 code, SL, ISO 639-3 code, SLV Eastern section Bulgarian, ISO 639-1 code, BG, ISO 639-3 code, BUL Macedonian, ISO 639-1 code, MK, ISO 639-3 code, MKD Old Church Slavonic — Extinct, ISO 639-1 code, CU, ISO 639-3 code, Chupara and Supranational Languages Church Slavonic language, derived from Old Church Slavonic, but with significant replacement of the original vocabulary by forms from the Old Russian language and other regional forms. The Bulgarian Orthodox Church, Russian Orthodox Church, Polish Orthodox Church, Macedonian Orthodox Church, Serbian Orthodox Church, and even some Roman Catholic churches in Croatia continue to use Church Slavonic as a liturgical language. While not used in modern times, the text of a Church Slavonic Roman Rite Mass survives in Croatia and the Czech Republic, which is best known through Janáček's musical setting of it the Glagolitic Mass. Topic. See also. Topic. Slavic microlanguages Slavistics Slavic names Language families and languages False friends of the slavist Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. 
Slavic dictionaries on Slavic net Slavistic portal the Slavistics portal Germany Swadesh lists of Slavic basic vocabulary words from Wiktionary's Swadesh list appendix Leo Wiener 1920 Slavic languages Encyclopedia Americana 